In this video, I'll be going over the top 5 best wireless mice for Minecraft. These mice will be good for all the clicking methods which includes double clicking, jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, and drag clicking. These mice will also be good for the different game modes in Minecraft which includes Bed Wars, Sky Wars, Bridge, Duels, and more. I'll also try my best to keep all the mice displayed in this video in a budget of around $30 to $80. It'll also mean the world to me if you guys could like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out and I'd really appreciate it. I will also link my Discord server in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Taking spot at number 5 on our list, we have the SteelSeries Rival 3 Wireless. The wireless version of the SteelSeries Rival 3 is a pretty good budget mouse costing just under $50. Also, at the time of recording this video, the mouse is on sale making it only cost $40. At this price range, the SteelSeries Rival 3 Wireless can double click, jitter click, butterfly click, and even drag click. Being able to do all these clicking methods, it makes the Rival 3 Wireless an even better mouse for Minecraft. This mouse can double click pretty well, achieving up to 12 to 14 CPS. It can also jitter click around 13 CPS and butterfly click up to 23 CPS. For short dragging, the Rival 3 Wireless can get around 15 to 20 CPS, and for long dragging, up to 50 CPS. The switches used on this mouse are also pretty light, which makes it way easier to do most of the clicking methods. Another advantage to this mouse is that the shape is very comfortable to hold in your hands, and it also does provide a better grip. This mouse also has a battery life of up to 400 plus hours which is absolutely insane. But to this mouse there are also some disadvantages. To power up the mouse you're gonna need to insert batteries. You can either insert one or two batteries at the top end of the mouse. This can result to a downside because it can make the mouse really heavy. With just one battery, the mouse can weigh up to 92 grams, which is pretty much considered average for a wireless mouse, but with both batteries installed, the mouse weighs up to 102 grams which is considered pretty heavy. But other than that, given its current sale, I would highly recommend this wireless mouse for Minecraft. Taking spot at number 4 on the list, we have the Corsair Cat R Pro Wireless. The Cat R Pro Wireless is more of an underrated mouse and isn't heard of very often inside of the Minecraft community. But for all of its features, I think this mouse would be a very good wireless pick for most people. On Amazon, you can find the Cat R Pro Wireless for only about $40 depending on where you live. This mouse is mostly known for how well it drag clicks, but it can also do every other clicking method really well. The Cat R Pro Wireless can also jitter click, it can also butterfly click, and double click as well. For jitter clicking, the Cat R Pro Wireless can achieve up to 12 to 14 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the Cat R Pro can get around 20 CPS. For short dragging, 15 to 20 CPS. And for long dragging, up to 50 CPS. The Cat R Pro Wireless also has many special features, including its light rounded switches. With its light rounded switches, almost every single clicking method are effortless on this mouse. In terms of weight, the Cat R Pro is around average for a wireless mouse. With both the batteries installed, the Cat R Pro Wireless can weigh up to 96 grams which is pretty much average for a wireless gaming mouse these days. The battery life on this mouse is also really good, lasting up to 135 hours with just one single battery. For the sensor, the Cat R Pro Wireless uses an optical sensor, which can also go up to 10,000 dpi. But other than that, if you do have a budget of around $40, and you're looking for a solid wireless mouse for Minecraft, then the Cat R Pro Wireless would definitely be the way to go. Taking spot at number 3 on our list, we have the HP Omen Vector Wireless. The HP Omen Vector Wireless is a well-rounded Minecraft mouse costing just at $50 on Amazon. At this price range, the HP Omen Vector Wireless is an amazing mouse for all the clicking methods and game modes in Minecraft as well. For jitter clicking, this mouse isn't as great but it can still get a consistent 12 CPS while jitter clicking. For butterfly clicking, the HP Omen Vector can get around 24 CPS. For short dragging, 15 to 22 CPS, and for long dragging, up to 60 CPS. A very useful feature to the HP Omen Vector Wireless is that you're able to recharge it with a USB Type-C cable. This makes everything way more efficient because you won't need to keep on adding new batteries. Charging is also extremely fast on this mouse, being able to get an hour of battery life out of just 30 minutes of charging. In terms of weight, the HP Omen Vector is on the heavier side, weighing at 105 grams. For the sensor, the HP Omen uses an eSports sensor, which can also go up to 16,000 dpi with a 99% tracking accuracy. The build quality is insane with this mouse, and it even comes with a rubberized grip texture on the side of the mouse. 
In terms of hand size, this mouse should be able to fit people with small or medium sized hands. But other than that, if you do have a budget of around $50 and you're looking for a solid wireless PvP mouse, then the HP Omen Vector would definitely be an option. Coming in at number 2 on our list, we have the Logitech G305 Wireless. The G305 is an extremely good mouse for Minecraft PvP, as well as fitting most people's budget as well. This mouse costs approximately $40 on Amazon, and it usually always has a sale. And at this price range, the G305 Wireless can do basically every single clicking method pretty well. Surprisingly, this mouse can also double click even though Logitech tries their best to prevent this from happening. From double clicking, the G305 can get around 10 to 14 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the G305 can get around 15 to 21 CPS. And although this mouse isn't great for drag clicking, it can still get the job done. For short dragging, it can get around 15 to 20 CPS. And for long dragging, it can get up to 35 CPS. Especially with the light rounded switches, it's way easier to do all the clicking methods really well with this mouse. I would highly recommend this mouse to people that are looking for a good wireless mouse for Minecraft PvP. In terms of battery life, the G305 can last up to 250 hours with just a single AA battery. The sensor used on the G305 is the Hero sensor instead of the typical optical sensor used on most Logitech mice. This mouse will also fit people with small to medium sized hands. The mouse also weighs at 99 grams which is typical for most wireless mice these days. But other than that, if you do have a budget of around $50, then I would highly recommend this mouse for you. Just before we get into the number 1 spot on this list, I just wanted to add some honorable mentions. These mice are also really good for Minecraft, it's just that some of them exceed our budget of only $80. I won't be going in much detail about all these mice, so I do recommend for you to do your own research if you are planning to buy one. For armable mention number 5, we have the HyperX Pulse Fire Haste Wireless. This mouse doesn't necessarily exceed our budget, it's just that it's usually out of stock in most stores, and it can get pretty hard to find sometimes. For armable mention number 4, we have the Logitech G Pro Wireless. The G Pro Wireless is a really good overall mouse, and it's probably one of the most popular wireless mice that you can find inside the Minecraft community as of right now. But the only problem with this mouse is that it's very costly, and not everyone can afford it. For armor mention number 3, we have the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. This mouse is basically just the same thing as the G Pro Wireless, it's just that it's way lighter and it's way more comfortable to hold in your hands. And just like the G Pro Wireless, it's very costly and not everyone can afford it. For armor mention number 2, we have the Rokat Kane 200 Wireless. This mouse is extremely good for overall Minecraft because it can do every single click method really well. And finally, for armor mention number 1, we have the Rokat Cone Pro Air Wireless. This mouse is by far one of the best mice for overall Minecraft as of right now. There are so many features that comes with this mouse which makes it really good for all the clicking methods and also for all the game modes in Minecraft. But overall, all of these mice in the honorable mentions are good for Minecraft so if you do have the budget to buy them, then I would highly encourage you to. And finally, for number 1 on our list, we have the Glorious Model O Wireless. The Model O Wireless is a top pick for wireless mice inside of the Minecraft PvP community. Almost all the famous YouTubers including Trix, Bellis Noob, Intel Edits, RKY, and many more use this mouse for Minecraft. And note that the other versions such as the Model D Wireless, the Model O- Wireless, and the Model D- Wireless are also good for Minecraft PvP as well. They're all basically just the same thing, it's just that they have different build models and sizes. For all of the unique features, these mice perform extremely well for all the game modes in Minecraft. And also as of right now, each wireless mouse is 31% off in the official Glorious website, making it cost just a little over $50. At this price range, the wireless mice are capable of doing every single clicking method really well. These mice can easily double click achieving up to 14 to 16 CPS. As for butterfly clicking, these mice can get up to 26 CPS. For jitter clicking, around 13 CPS. For short dragging, around 15 to 24 CPS. And for long dragging, up to 50 to 70 CPS. An extremely good feature about these mice is that they don't require even a single AA battery. Glorious put their own internal battery, which makes the mouse way lighter and way easier to move around as well. The model of wireless weighs at 69 grams, and the other models are also close to that number as well. 
The battery life for these mice is around 6 hours of playtime before needing a charge. The sensor on these mice are also amazing, and there's not really any downside to any of these mice. So if you are looking for an insane wireless mouse, then the Model O Wireless or the other versions would definitely be an amazing option. Just choose one based on personal preference. Also, given their current sale, I would highly recommend for you to get one of these mice if you are looking for a really good mouse for Minecraft. Alright guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you to find a good wireless mouse that you like. Just keep in mind that there are many more different options of wireless mice, and I just went into my top 5 picks today. But if you do have any other suggestions of mice, then feel free to drop a comment down below. But overall, if this video did end up helping you out, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because it really motivates me to make more of these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.